Well, we're here in Kafar Qasem because the Minister of Health, Mr. Uh, Nitsan Orovitz, is going to come here and divulge the map of the cities which have a low rate of vaccination. And that's probably, uh, surely, the strategy of this government in order to avoid a lockdown, to ensure the vaccination of uh, as many people as possible with two target groups, particularly the kids between the age of 12 and 15 who need to get vaccinated because the school year is starting in nine days from now. And also the people that have to receive the third uh, injection, the booster shot, uh, the people that are uh, 40 and above, and also uh, the one million people who uh, around the country have not been vaccinated at all yet. So this is the start of a campaign that the Minister of Health is trying. I'm saying trying because there have been many campaigns already, and uh, it seems that the numbers are giving very cautious signs of optimism, but the challenges to the government are piling up. Uh, There's going to be the, the start of the school year on September 1st, there's going to be the high Jewish holiday season with family gathering and communal prayers. And there's going to be also a pilgrimage in Ukraine, Oman, with thousands of ultra-Orthodox Jews who are going to, uh, to travel to Eastern Europe. And all these challenges are... Uh, putting into question, in a sense, uh, the strategy of this government. And yet, the government yesterday evening decided that this is the, 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 the strategy to avoid a lockdown and to allow life as much as possible beside the COVID-19 virus, the Delta uh, variant. So as you mentioned there, Pierre, of course, school's supposed to be starting on the 1st of September, but it's not without some rules and regulations on various school premises. Break down those for us briefly, please. Well, first of all, in uh, red cities where you have uh, less than 70% of uh, students, of pupil non-vaccinated, they're going to have to study uh, via the Zoom application. Now, the kids who cannot be vaccinated will have to submit to a quick test uh, on the first day of the school year. There's about 37,000 teachers uh, who are not vaccinated, right. who will have to be tested twice every uh, week. Uh, so there's a lot of challenges.